One of the fundamental decisions to be made when performing a CSET assessment is which approach to take to evaluate your information and industrial control systems. To select the approach, simply click on the desired option. In this tutorial, we will focus on the first two assessment modes, questions-based and the standard requirements-based. The third option, cybersecurity framework-based, allows the user to perform a risk-based cybersecurity evaluation using the cybersecurity framework and a customized question set. It is discussed in a separate video tutorial. The universal questions approach uses a set of simplified questions that come from a robust pedigree of multiple cybersecurity standards. The questions were primarily taken from version 7 of the DHS Catalog of Control System Security, Recommendations for Standards Developers, or CORE document. The catalog was originally formatted and derived from controls found in the NIST Special Publication 800-53 Federal Standard. Fourteen additional standards, besides NIST SP 800-53, were used to evaluate questions in the catalog of recommendations in order to add missing controls or remove those that might not have been applicable. With the catalog of recommendations as a foundation, subject matter experts converted the lengthy and sometimes complex requirements from the catalog into a set of single, concise questions. Each question was also written so that it could be answered as yes or no. The questions were also grouped based on the NIST level system of low, moderate, high, and very high. As expected, high questions would be more demanding than low questions. If your security assurance level is determined to be a moderate, for example, only the low and moderate questions will be presented in the assessment. While you are still in the questions-based mode, you can refine the question set even more by clicking on one or more standards. You will notice that the DHS Catalog of Recommendations, Rev7, cannot be clicked since it is the same set as the universal questions. The catalog can be clicked if you select the Requirements mode. If all the standard sets are included in the original universal questions, then there will be no additional questions added, as in the case shown here. If a standard has questions beyond what are located in the universal set, then the questions presented will include all common questions and all additional questions from the standard not found in the universal set, as seen in this example. You do not have to include the universal set. For example, if you only want the NRC Regulatory Guide 5.71, and only check that standard, then the reg guide will be the only set of questions presented. The standard requirements-based approach is much simpler. In step one, click the standard requirements-based radio button and then click the step two bar. Notice that you can now select the standards that are specific to the requirements mode. Simply select the standard you wish to be assessed against. Unlike the questions approach, the requirements approach will display each standard, one after another, with the exact wording of the standard text. You must answer all the questions for each standard regardless of any overlap. The security assurance level will still apply on standards where it is used, such as the Catalog of Recommendations and NIST Special Publication 800-53. The questions-based mode and the universal questions should be used for most assessments. If you are in a regulated industry, you may want to use the standard requirements-based mode and select the specific standard for your industry.